that's what good contemporary art can do, that it can draw something from you, some sort of emotion and have, give you a feeling, and, and then hopefully you're willing to share that feeling with someone else. You can have things such as uh, the figure of a man or a human suspended from a wire in this precarious position, and there's a shock value to that, to the people walking by and, and seeing that. And I, I, there's something about it that evokes an emotional response, whether it's fear or surprise. What I enjoy most about Art Prize is the feel of the city. I mean, Grand Rapids is always a beautiful city, and it's always nice to be outside and walk the streets are clean. But during Art Prize, it, the vibe just changes. Like, it just comes alive. It's electric. Uh, Art Prize means an amazing opportunity to uh, exhibit your work to thousands of people. Um, it's just an amazing venue to start a conversation between artists, art community, and the general public. It's extremely exciting to be showing at the Graham. Um, I'm 22 years old and I'm in an art museum. It's really phenomenal. I feel very, very lucky to be here. That's what good contemporary art can do, that it can draw something from you, some sort of emotion and have, give you a feeling, and, and then hopefully you're willing to share that feeling with someone else. This piece is really inspired by creativity and the motivation of humans, really. And the egg, to me, in this piece represents the conception of an idea and how fragile that is. And really, the black and the white represent the intrinsic and extrinsic motivation of humans. You know, why you do what you do? Is it because, you know, you have to? Because it's something in you that really pushes you? Or is it because you're being pushed by some other force? Two years ago, I did a monumental work on paper called Cavalry. It was a eight foot by 28 foot pencil drawing. I was fortunate enough to receive grand prize for our prize. City Band uh, is a monumental work on paper that was inspired by a photograph that I found in my grandfather's high school yearbook from 1926 from Bay City Central High School. Brought up a lot of thoughts about, you know, your legacy, life, you know, death, and uh, kind of the ride that you take along the way. The world's largest art competition, it's all happening in Grand Rapids, Michigan.